Hey, it's going on YouTube? So I know it's best here. Here about to show you how to turn your iPad into an external monitor for your Mac. Yes, you get a little bit out of screen real estate. It's very easy and simple to do. The first thing you need to do to go to iTunes and download an application called Air Display. Now, download this into your iPad. Now, it's not cheap. It's $9.99, so it's about 10 bucks. But out of the bunch of applications that claim to do the same type of thing, this one does it the best. So you download the application on your iPad. Then it'll prompt you to go to a website on your computer itself that you want the users with. And uh, the website is called avatron.com forward slash ad. And this is just to download the piece of software on your Mac to be able to have, allow the iPad and the Mac to talk to each other. And now uh, you download that and you're going to have to restart your computer. Now if you get that download, go up here to the top here to your menu bar and go ahead and select, collect, select the icon for your Air Display application. And make sure it's turned on. And it'll say no iPads is found. So basically you need to go to your iPad and open up the application. And now it shows my iPad 3G or whatever you named it. So you click on that, and then your screen will flicker blue, and then it'll just be it transitioning over to make sure the iPad is connected with your Mac. So it should happen here any second now. Okay, and there you have it. So once it connects to your iPad 3G, it just matters in a couple of seconds there. Now you got your your iPad synced up to your um, to your Mac there. So now you can simply open up uh, anything you really want. So open up a web browser like this or so on your my 27 inch iMac here. I'm going to drag it over. Now, this is my cinema display, but I got my cinema display and over to my iPad. There it is right there. So there it is right there. So here it is right here. And you can see it's a little, it's a little you know, it's a little stuttery there, but that's definitely to be expected by using this. But for what it does, it adds the extra screen real estate to your, your, uh, your Mac there. Now, you can simply, you can still interact with this. Now the sound is not coming out my iPad, it's actually still coming out my, my speakers for my iMac there. But you see the video plays pretty nicely there, it's a little, the frame rate is a little slow, but it still plays there. But I really like to use this for, and you can, as you see there you can still do spaces and expose with it. But what I really like to use this for is probably uh, my Tweety application, or my whatever my Twitter client is, it'll probably be fun to have this on here. Or you can have, you know, I mean it's kind of stupid, you can probably have the Twitter application on your iPad, but hey, um, you can use the Twitter application here that's on your Mac just like so maybe you have one that you would rather use in the iPad versions and it works just fine like just like that. All right, another thing about this application it still allows you to use the touch capabilities of your iPad. So say I wanted to double tap on here, I can drag the uh, the application window whatever I have open here on my iPad. And it is a little jittery there, but you know, that's what's expected again. Uh, you can scroll through on here. Now one thing I wish they'll do with this application is once you tap on something, I wish the mouse cursor would actually be like 2 inches above so you can actually see where you're tapping at. But uh, it's basically just where right underneath your thumb, which is not that smart now. But I think they'll learn that there. But anyway, you can still do that. So you, I wasn't able to do like the two finger scrolling on a uh, on a web page, nothing like that. But I was able to still uh, navigate around it here. Let me move over the Safari here. Well, I was still pretty much able able to navigate around it here and get around with it. Uh, but it's, again, this is an application that's probably a little novelty item. Everybody's not going to need this, but it's pretty cool. So you're looking at an application that can do this. Air displays to want to do it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.